I'm going to get into another Sam Cedar, uh, Michael Brooks hate fest against Andrew Yang. And I will try to remain as fair and balanced as I can regarding this video. You know this is Michael Brooks and Sam Cedar going after Andrew Yang's UBI, which is perfectly fine. They're welcome to do so. But I personally feel that they are either purposely or unintentionally overlooking a lot of information regarding Andrew Yang's Freedom Dividend, coupled with a little bit of concern regarding the potential that Andrew Yang may intrude on Bernie Sanders' support. And I completely understand that. Uh, I think a lot of people who are currently potentially con uh, considering voting for Andrew Yang are Bernie Sanders supporters. But I don't think that should get in the way of us trying to be objective about what Andrew Yang's trying to present to the American people. Again, I just want to emphasize that I think this whole approach of pitting progressives against one another is a wrong strategy, and it's going to result in a centrist getting elected. Again, I want to emphasize what I think is the wisest course of action. I don't believe Sam Cedar or Michael Brooks are taking that wise action. So far, I've seen Michael Figueredo try to remain neutral on the topic. He hasn't created many videos around Andrew Yang. He's just kind of staying out of the way. Uh, same can be said of Kyle Kalinske. Uh, occasionally, he might mention Andrew Yang. David Pakman is, interestingly enough, the one I think is giving Andrew Yang a little more fair treatment than the other host. He's trying to present Andrew Yang at certain points. He's interviewed him, as has, of course, Mike Figueredo, so don't want to take that away from him. My point here is I really think the best strategy is for us to not go after the other progressive candidates in this time. Really, it is create an alliance that goes after the centrist candidates. Get them uh, overwhelmed and, and taken out of um, the discussion. And that way we can be sure that we're going to get a progressive nominee, be it Yang, Marianne Williamson, Tulsa Gabbard, Bernie Sanders, Mike Gravel, presuming he can get back in this. That, to me, really is the best strategy. And again, uh, I just don't feel that some people understand that. And so they're going after Andrew Yang. And hopefully people don't go after Bernie Sanders or Tulsi Gabbard. And I see some of that as well. I'll create a video in one, in one second. And I know because put a down thumb Bernie Sanders video and there's no views. So it lets me know instantly they're attempting to give this false notion Bernie Sanders has nothing good to offer. And so I'm really encouraging everyone listening. And I'm not blaming Yangers for that across the board, I think, from everybody, uh, that we remain united and in alliance. And then once we can get all of the centrists out, flesh them out, then we can have a fair game. Whatever progressive wins, wins. No matter what happens, I think most of us can be mostly happy.